In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the driver's side blend door actuator on a Honda Accord. If you need any parts, check us out at 1AAuto.com. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. We're going to have to make our way underneath the driver's side dash so we can locate the actuator. We'll have to remove this lower panel. To remove this panel, you'll find that you have a Phillips head screw right along this outer corner. We'll pull that out of there. A quick inspection. We'll set that aside. Continue on with a plastic trim tool. We'll be making our way towards the right side of this panel. We have to separate it from the bracket that it's mounted to. Make your way in between and gently separate it. There we are, got some movement from there. Now we'll make our way along the left hand side of this panel and we'll start separating it using our trim tool. Just make your way inside, give it a little pry. We'll pop this apart. Now once you have the bottom of this separated, we can continue on down inside this area. We're going to have to remove the lower panel. Now that we have the bottom semi separated, we'll move up along the top. Once again, we're using our trim tool. You wanna to get in between the dash and the panel and just gently twist. You will find that you have a couple little push tabs that hold this in place. We'll just go ahead and make our way across over to the other side of the steering column, pop that out of place as well. There we are. Take hold of this. Now keep in mind, you do still have a wiring harness attached here. We'll disconnect that by squeezing on this locking tab. Disconnect it, a quick inspection for corrosion, and we'll set this panel aside. Now we can make our way into this area with our trim tool, and we're going to separate the lower panel along the front. Once you have that pulled down, you can slowly pull it towards the rear of the vehicle and remove it. We'll set that aside. Now that we have the panel out of the way, we have a clear view of the actuator located right here. Now this does have a couple screws holding it in place, but it also has a metal bracket that's mounted directly to it. You will have two small Phillips head screws on the outside here, and then there's a third one holding that bracket to the box. That one's directly up along the top. We'll remove all three of these so we can remove the bracket and then we'll remove the mounting screws for the actuator. Let's start with the top bolt. It's the hardest to get to. There's that one. Let's get these other two. There's that mounting bolt. Let's get the last one. Remove that and the bracket. Give the bracket a quick inspection. Make sure it is still reusable. This one looks fine. We'll set it aside. With the bracket out of the way, let's continue on to our green connector located on the forward side of this. Go ahead and squeeze on the locking tab, disconnect it, and give it a quick check for corrosion. With that disconnected, we'll make our way down along the bottom of the actuator. There's two Phillips head screws. Go ahead and remove those and remove the actuator. Slid right out of there. There it is, friend. Okay, let's get ready to install that actuator. We'll take this and put it in position underneath the dash. Get this into position. Start in both of those lower mounting screws and snug them up.
double check to make sure that's secure. Continue on to your green wiring harness. Press it in, listen for a click, give it a tug to make sure that's completely secure. Now we can install the bracket. Let's get this bracket in position. We'll start in all three of the mounting bolts and then we can snug them up. That last one along the top. Once you have all three of those started in, go ahead and snug them up. Keep in mind you are only screwing into plastic. We don't want to damage anything. Now we'll get our final bolt up along the top there. Let's install our lower panel here. Slide this into position. Align its mounting points and press it in. Now we can get this panel in position. Don't forget about your electrical connector. Now as we bring this up, there's going to be several alignment points that we will need to align and then press this panel into position. Once we've done so, we'll continue on with our one Phillips head screw along the bottom. Double check to make sure it's secured along the passenger side here. We'll install the screw down along this area. At this point, go ahead and put the key in the on position and test the actuator functionality. Okay friend, the car's back together. I hope this video helped you. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell so you can be kept up with all of our latest content. Thanks for watching.